am I relatable now hello beautiful bookish people my name is Hannah and today we're doing the mid-year freak out tag without music it's actually really awkward and I was tagged by my good friend Rainy over at It's Rainy and she has an adorable channel and I encourage you all to go check it out and she was the person who tagged me in this video so thank you I'm excited to do this video and without any further ado let's just jump on into the questions number one best book you've read this year and uh, as you know that's extremely difficult for a bookish person so I've chosen three the first play I want to mention is A Doll's House and this was recommended to me by my good friend Emery and I read it over the summer and I fell in love with it and I want to see it on the stage. So thank you Emery, it was amazing. <laughs> the next book I picked up because of Paul Reed and he recommended A Long Way Down which is a book that takes place all in an elevator. And I really don't want to tell you much else because I think it's good and you should all read it. I don't want to throw this one. The next one was my favorite contemporary of the year and that is The Astonishing Color of After. And if you don't know anything about it, it's about this girl whose mother has committed suicide and she believes that her mother was reborn into a bird and so she connects with her grandparents in Taiwan to kind of unravel some secrets about her family and it has a lot of magical realism and I highly enjoyed it so if you don't want to you don't have to pick it up but I liked it so and then the honorable mention is I'm currently reading Rebecca and if it's going the way I think it is I think it's gonna be in my top books of the year so so question number two is the best sequel you've read this year and fun fact I've only read one sequel so that has to be the answer for this and it's the heart of betrayal which is the second book in the kiss of deception series or trilogy and I'll tell you the truth um, I thought it was a good sequel, but it does suffer from that book two syndrome. There was um, a lot of boring parts. We're kind of stuck in this village for a while, but um, yeah, I liked it. So <laughs> hopefully, I'm not like triggering you. Well, question number three is uh, name some book releases that you haven't read yet. So I think I should do a little montage because there's a lot I'm a good booktuber so the next question is your biggest disappointment and <laughs> I didn't even have to think twice about this answer. That would be The Big Whopping The Siren by Kira Cass. If you don't know, I have a rant review about it where I talk about how awful it is and, and I was disappointed in every element of this book. Uh, now, question number six is your biggest surprise of the year and I'm actually gonna go with Baking Normal. I picked it up at the library because I thought the summary sounded good and I didn't really hear much about it on booktube or anything like that but it handles topics similar to speak if you've read that and I think it did it in a better way. So question number seven is your favorite new author and I actually have two answers for this. The first one being Stephen King. I just read one but I excited to read any other work by him because I was so impressed by this. And the second one is Tamara Ireland Stone. So the next question, question number eight is your newest fictional crush. And I haven't read a lot of swoon worthy books, but as I was looking at my shelf, the only character I actually had a developed a little like, oh, I like you type thing was JJ from Save the Date. If you don't know, JJ doesn't say, um, he doesn't scoff or he goes like ah. he just says the word scoff which is adorable I think because I say gasp instead of <gasps> so we relate so question number nine is your newest favorite character and I'm actually gonna do a repeat one and I'm gonna go with Hannah from little do we know not only do we share the same name but we also share practically every personality trait in the book except for the fact that she doesn't like coffee 
So if you don't know what this book is about, this book is about two friends named Hannah and Emery. They've been best friend neighbors since they were born until a riff has happened in their friendship. Often it's really about how religion can play a part in friendship. There's platonic relationships in this. But yeah, it's just a really well crafted book and I highly enjoyed it. So, so question number 10 is book that made you cry. I actually read one of my favorite books again this year and it always makes me cry and that is The Book Thief. But if we're not counting rereads, I'll have to go with A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I actually read this all at once in one sitting at my local Half Price Books and as I read the last chapter, like literal tears were coming down my face. The girl who was running the young adult bookstore, or the young adult section in the bookstore, came up to me and said, "Oh my gosh, are are you okay?" And I had to be like, <laughs> I had to be like, "No, oh, okay, just uh, don't look at me." And um, I've never spoken to her since. So, so question number eleven. So question number eleven. <laughs> is a book that made you happy and I'm gonna go for a non-conventional answer for this one that would have to be everything I learned I learned from Disney which is literally a picture book of lessons that Disney has taught you and it was just a really heartwarming read and I loved it but if you don't want to count this one um, every time I read Lord Byron's poetry he always makes me happy so so question number 12 is your favorite um, book to movie adaptation and I actually haven't seen a lot of book to movie adaptations. I've seen Ready Player One and to be honest I didn't really like it. But I am excited for the latter half of the year. We have like Ophelia coming out with Daisy Ripley which looks amazing. Where'd you go Bernadette? Oh my gosh The Bell Jar! Little Women? A new adaptation of Little Women? I'm so excited for that. Uh, but yeah so far this year I've been kind of underwhelmed with the book to movie adaptations. I guess I liked everything everything, but not really. So question number 13 is your favorite video that you've made this year and I think that has to go to the rap battle that I did with my good friend Emery. I was really proud of that. I spent a lot of time on it and I think it just turned out really well. So question number 14 is the most beautiful book you've bought this year and I think that one definitely has to go to um, A Light Too Bright which I think, hold on, let me see if I can get close up. I think it's just so beautiful and the spine is nice. I think it looks so good on the shelf. I haven't read it yet but if you look a little closer in the clouds you can see this profile of a man and I think that's done so well and so simply that I didn't notice it the first couple times I picked it up so that's really cool and I'm really excited to read it because I think it not only matches my aesthetic I think it's gonna hit all my niches oh my gosh gasp they go to Denver in this book I'm sold and question number 15 is the books that you need to read before the end of the year. And oh, honey, there are so many. I need to read Circe. I need to read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Oh, I need to read Scythe. I want to read The First 15 Lives of Harry August. The Shining, like Misery, and the last question is who do you tag and I think a majority of booktube has done this tag I'm actually very late to the trend so yeah I don't think I'm gonna tag anybody but go check out my good friend Rainy I think she makes amazing content and if you ever need a poetry recommendation go hit her up so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time keep reading and all that jazz First, I want to mention a doll's house. Nope. Uh, and I wrote, uh, the first book I want to mention is. Nope, it's a play. 
nope. <laughs> I'm already stumbling so much. And it has a lot of magical realism. Blah. What else, Hannah? What else does it have? It's great. So question number nine is your newest favorite. Nope. Relatable. Bopping. Twisted. Pull it. Why did that take me so long to think of? Uh. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, this is the aftermath of doing a tag. <laughs> Barney music being cute in three, two, one. <laughs> 